Well, good evening, everyone, as we come together <clears throat> for Compline on the evening of Wednesday, the 2nd of September, <clears throat> a day on which we remember the martyrs of Papua New Guinea. And uh, their story is uh, very interesting, if you would like to uh, follow up on that. And so we begin with our opening responses. <clears throat> The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So shall we spend a few moments in silence as we gather ourselves before God this evening. And as we recognise God's presence with us, it may be that we need to bring things to him in confession. And so we can do that in this prayer. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and to one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed, O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. And to our evening <clears throat> office hymn. psalm this evening is psalm 31 <clears throat> and the refrain is into your hands i commend my spirit in you o lord have i taken refuge let me never be put to shame deliver me in your righteousness incline your ear to me make haste to deliver me be my strong rock a fortress to save me for you are my rock and my stronghold Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me, for you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Into your hands I commend my spirit. How abundance is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared in the sight of all those of all for those who put their trust in you. 
You hide them in the shelter of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them safe in your refuge from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his steadfast love when I was as a city besieged. I had said in my alarm I had been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my prayer when I cried out to you. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Love the Lord, all you his servants, for the Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the full the proud. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait in hope for the Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, when scorn and shame besiege us and hope is veiled in grief, hold us in your wounded hands and make your face shine on us again, for you are our Lord and God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. So to our scripture reading this evening, which is just two verses from the first letter of Peter, chapter 5. And Peter writes this. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my, my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And so to the Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace, your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Shall we pray? Holy God, we do thank you for your goodness to us. We thank you for your life in us and around us. And we're mindful, Lord, at this time of those words uh, in Peter's letter, to cast all our anxiety on you, because you care for us. So, Lord, we pray for those who perhaps are anxious about their children going back to school tomorrow and perhaps children who are anxious about going back. We pray for teachers, too, who are anxious about the next few days. We desperately want to do what is best for the children in their care. We pray for those children who perhaps are about to go to bed or it won't be long for them. We pray, Lord, for each one of them that sleep would be peaceful for them. And Lord, I pray that they wake up with an excitement tomorrow about going back to school and seeing their friends. And Lord, in the midst of all the anxiety as well about catching up and about um, making making up the deficit in learning that this last few months have brought. I just pray, Lord, for everyone, that we'd be mindful of one another. We'd be mindful of the pastoral needs of 
all our children. And Lord, that we would seek to support them in ways other than their learning. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for our government. We continue to pray for those who are dealing with financial matters at the, at the moment. And we pray, Lord, for those uh, who have felt the real force of the difficulties of this last few months. We pray for those who are unemployed and we're never expecting to be that way. We pray for those who are self-employed and have had to close down their businesses. We pray for those who are running businesses and can't see a way forward. We pray, Lord, for those who are struggling to get food together and get it on the table. We pray for those who rely on food banks Lord, there's so much need out there in our communities and beyond. Pray for the well-being of all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for all those who are um, in professions that have not been able to go back to work yet. Lord, we pray for those who are um, involved in the arts, for those who are involved in theatre. We pray for street entertainers and all those who make their music, uh, make their living by playing music and doing live gigs. And Lord, we all miss that so much too. We miss the opportunity to go out and see the theatre. We miss the opportunity to listen to music. And for those, Lord, who are desperately wanting to get back to seeing some sports live, these are tough times. Lord, we pray that soon it will be possible to open those um, areas up. We so badly miss them and they're so important for our way of being as a society. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we give you thanks, Lord, for those who have served us all the way through this last few months, for those who have worked um, in, um, in health care, for our doctor surgeries, our dentists, for our osteopaths, chiropractors, all those who work in, uh, in medicine in one way or another. We give you thanks for all our scientists, for our researchers who are continuing to work long hours to try and find a way through uh, this pandemic for all of us. And we pray, Lord, for a vaccine. We pray that all the trials that are running, uh, or amidst all the trials that are running, there'll be found at least one vaccine, probably more, that are effective with this virus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. There are many among us who need our prayer, so in a few moments of silence, perhaps if you'd like to pray for anyone known to you, who is in need of prayer today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Visit us, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from us the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us. 
Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Shall we pray together the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you and everyone you love and everyone you pray for this night and always. Amen. It's lovely to uh, share in prayer with you this evening and uh, I don't know what you're doing for the rest of the evening but I hope it brings you joy. And so for all of you, uh, good night to you and God bless to you and lots of love to all of you. Sleep well everybody, good night. <laughs>